Um, when the start of Swordsburg giving no place to hell, but Hashem Yahusha, but Hashem Mukha Kadash, double honor to the apostles of Great Mosan, and honor to brothers doing the work of the Mosan truth and doing sincerity. Yahweh's real name of whom the world ignorantly calls God Jehovah or Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, and son's true name is Yahweh Shai, and when we pray, pray Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, burning in, Hamming Van Sham, meaning names, Yahweh, the name of Yahweh Shai. Real quick, I, I was watching the, uh, you know, that new Bad Boys film, not a spoiler or anything, but you know, one of the things that they kind of allude to is, you know, um, you know, Martin Lawrence's character and uh, Will Smith's character basically, you know, being, you know, knit. But the way he tries to make it seem is like some, you know, some, um, you know, some alphabet stuff, right? But these times, you know, you know, the scriptures speak about brotherly love. The scriptures speak about you know, the strength of about brotherly love. And guess what? We we experience it too, right? You know, a certain Akim you meet, you feel like you've met, you've known this brother all your life. Why? Because there's a good chance in previous lives we did, right? And that's why in the scriptures we understand, you know, we understand, uh, you know, reincarnation, right? And its importance and, it's in, 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 and the fact that reincarnation is integral uh, to the scriptures. So when, you know, once again, when you, when you may meet a brother, you just feel like you've known them your whole life. Right. And, you know, the, 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 the spirit will have it such that, you know, the love that we have for one another, right, will outweigh the love that we have for a woman. And that's not to say you won't love your woman or anything like that. However, right, that brotherly love, um, you know, uh, uh, can, you know, can surpass that. Right. And this is an example. This is First Samuel 18 and, and 1. Right. And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul. That soul that that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul, right? So King David, right, and Jonathan, and King David being you know, a man after the Most High's heart, right, you know, beloved of the Most High, right. Um, he loved Jonathan, right, but not no alphabet shit. They, you know, that was just a a, a, a true manly love. But he saw in his, um, you know, in his. Uh, unrighteous spirit he likes to push this idea of oh there was some kind of mo you know relationship going on it's like nah that's 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 just what you would do Esau right because the scripture says the spirit that is in him is not upright right so you know you the the the, the love that Akim have right in fact we're going to get it in a sec so I'll just save it um, what you call it? just save it for later, right? It says, but uh, I'll read, it says, verse 2 it says, And Saul took him that day and would let him go no more home to his father's house, right? Um, then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him and gave it to David and his garments, even to his swords and his bow and to his girdle, right? So basically, received them, um, you know, in, in, into the house because there was, once again, it was like a brotherly love. I was like, yo. You know, you know, the, 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 they were one, okay? This is Second Samuel 1, uh, 25 and 26. It says, How are the mighty fallen in the midst of the battle? O Jonathan, that was slain in thine high places, I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan, right? Very pleasant hast thou, hast thou been unto me, right? Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women, okay? And that's just it, right? The, the, the love that, you know, Akim have one for another can can very easily surpass the love of of uh, of women, right? Because once again, when you've got, um, especially in the ancient world, when uh, you think about they were actually fighting like real wars, what we have right now is a spiritual war, right? When you go through the battlefield with someone, right, you're gonna, you know, you're both risking your lives for each other, right? You're you're you're, you're protecting each other. Right, but that's what we're doing in this world, in 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 the modern, well, but you know, but in in a spiritual sense, right? When we go out there week in week out, yes, we are our brother's keeper. When we're there, right? We are our brother's keeper, and and we understand that you know something may go down, and we have to be ready to you know be there for our brother. Right now, if we didn't love the brotherhood, we wouldn't take that risk. Right. But that's just that love that we have one for another, right? This is John thirteen thirty four. A new commandment I give you, give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love 
uh, to one another, right? And once again, when we're out and about, is Akim, you know, where you know, wherever it is that we are, people can see that there's a there's a difference to it. People can see the love and the respect that we have for each other, right? And in a similar vein, right, you may have, you know, be you see it's like, oh they're they're such a lovely couple, right? You may have someone, you know, um, you know, in their midst or whatever, and people say, Oh, they're such a lovely couple because of the way that they're treating each other. Right, but people say that about Akim, like, hey, man, there's something special about these guys. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something special about this guy, these guys, right? And that's why, because we've, we've got, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua on us, and we've got the love uh, 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 for each other that that comes with, okay. And regardless of what how he tries to frame it, right? That is, you know, that 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 that, that is um a beautiful thing. Right. Once again, he tries to make it, you know, tries to stigmatize it. Right. That's because that's just the way Esau is. This is um, Romans 12 and 9. Right. It says, let love be without dissimulation. Right. Basically, unfeigned, undisguised, sincere. I'm going to grab this in the NL team just a second. Right. It says, abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love in honor, preferring one another. Right. And then LT says, don't just pretend to love others. Really love them, right? So really love your brother, right? Really love your brother, right? That's what we must, um, you know, we must needs do, right? We must needs uh, 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 love uh, each other, right? You know, such that we can, you know, be there and help each other, right? So it goes on to say, uh, hold tightly to what is good, uh, love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Need never be lazy. Uh, well, that was the point. Yes, it says to so love each other with genuine affection. Okay. Um, so, I'm just close on this. This is John 15 and 12. It says, This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Right, so Yahusha laid down his life for us, right? And um, uh, yeah, Yahusha laid down his life for us, right? Um, and because he is our friend, and this is one of the things we may be required to lay down our life for him, right? So that's just a you know just a quick one. Um, you know, he tries to stigmatize brotherly love, um, but hey, we, hey the, 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 the 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 scriptures are plain, man. As always, always, without edifying. Till next time, we say shalom.